Bible Moments is all about relationships. It's all about taking your time, your talent. In my case, I got a little bit of cooking talent. Applying it to the food, the ingredients, a little extra lanyap, and serving it to those that you love. I'm going to quickly demonstrate here for you. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate some steak Diane, old classic French dish. Uh, actually originated with... Uh, Diana, the goddess of the hunt, they would use, I think originally they would use venison for this. Um, I'm going to just use some beef tenderloin. I like the beef tenderloin um, tips, as they call them. Sometimes your butcher will actually give them to, to you uh, a little less expensive because um, a lot of people don't like them. I love the tips. It's good for stews. It's good for stroganoff. It's good for just uh, pan-seared uh, or stir-fried beef. Um, I take them, cut them into little medallions, small individual medallions. I cut them into small medallions, and then I will pound them out. With these, I just pound them out. I, I like to, with, with steak Diane, because you really want it to be cooked quickly, um, but just to pound it out. I'm very much in pounding out with chicken breast to make it an even um, thickness, uh, even thickness throughout the breast, and that's exactly what I'm doing here. It's tender enough. I cook all steak and all meat from room temperature. I've allowed these to come to room temperature first. Season them with just plain salt, sea salt, and pepper. I use a mixture, always have a little bit of mixture around. And then they go into a hot skillet that I had some clarified butter in. If you want the recipe for clarified butter, get, a, get yourself a copy of the book. And you quickly seal the meat off um, about a minute, minute and a half on each side. Just sealing the meat off. Um, and that will cook it to about medium rare, and then we'll start to make the sauce in the, in, in the pot. In, in the, uh, we'll start to make the sauce in the saute pan. Empty Bottle Moments talks about actually now a little bit of lanya. So a little bit of lanya here I like to do. It's just a sprinkle of curry powder. It just gives it a little bit of an edge. Lanya, as I said, that Cajun term with just a little extra. That's one of the principles of empty, creating Empty Bottle Moments. I talk about it in the book of how we... Um, sometimes respond to situations with sandpaper, how we run from situations and how we lose our focus. And I talk about how we keep that in the kitchen, then obviously you can apply it to your life. So about a minute and a half on either side. And once I've turned it over and the pan is nice and hot, I start adding all my extras. They call it mise en place, uh, prepared, to order, prepared ahead of time. And I always encourage, if you see the chefs on TV, they always got everything. They can zip zap the, uh, through the meal because everything's already prepared. At home, a lot of us just say, oh, let me get into the closet. Let me find something in the refrigerator. And um, we lose track of everything. So prepare everything in advance. A little garlic, a little um, shallots, wild mushrooms. I move the meat to the side so it doesn't get steamed with everything. And then I try and get the hot part of the skillet. Um, to, to cook the mushrooms and the onion mixture. Actually, what you could do at this point in time is you could actually remove the steak onto another plate so that the sauce cooks by itself and you don't end up stewing the steak. A little bit of Dijon mustard. And I use a tarragon Dijon blend. I, it just adds a little extra lanya. I'm boiling here some fresh Texas beans. Uh, I always say, as I said, take the best possible ingredients. How you do that? Just go see what's plentiful in your stores these days. Whatever is plentiful at the time that you go into the grocery store, that you can almost be sure of it's at, at its peak. So mix that all together. A little red wine. By the way, there's no such thing as cooking wine. If you won't drink it, then keep it out of your kitchen. And over here, you can add a little bit of veal stock. A lot of people say, well, how am I going to get veal stock? You can actually get it already prepared. Uh, a great brand. I love it. Um, it's demi-glace, already made up. It's classic for, uh, veal stock. And you just take a teaspoon of that, or a fork of that, and add it into your mixture. And start reducing. 
Some people are inclined to put a little bit of cream in here to round it off. Um, I used to be a heavy duty cream guy, put cream in almost everything. It's like grace, it covers up a multitude of problems in your cooking. And that's actually what Empty Bottle Moments talks about. It takes, it says, we don't have to be perfect in the kitchen. I ain't perfect. I've written a book and I got an F in English. I've written a cookbook and I was a very mediocre chef or cook. But you know what? It's about the love. It's about the love we put into our cooking that ultimately will come out when we celebrate time around the table with our friends and loved ones. Once this is done, I put my steak back in there just to kind of saturate and soak up the juices a little bit. Make sure you get all that stuff that the steak leaked out into the pan so you've got some nice yummy, yummy sauce over there. And I just cook it out for about a minute or two. On the side of this, you can serve some sweet potatoes, uh, roasted sweet potatoes, some roasted garlic potatoes, even mashed potatoes. I love this one. My favorite pasta, spaghetti squash. Um, slice it up, steam it. It acts just like spaghetti. You can put it with the sauce and adds, adds a great accompaniment to the uh, steak diet. Presentation, while it is not everything, it is everything. Um, and so we pay a little bit special attention to how it's presented, what it's served with. I'm doing this as a big portion, and so it's going to be served more of a family style. I love family style. Family style service just aids in serving each other at the table, passing the dishes around, and just enjoying our company and creating empty bottle moments. Okay, so that's all I have to garnish it with. Just a little bit of Italian parsley. Steak Diane, fit for an empty bottle moment. <laughs>